Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and today Apple released iOS 18.0.1 to the public. iOS 18.0.1 is available around the world at the same time for everyone, as long as you're not a beta tester. If you are a beta tester or developer, you won't have this update as you're on a newer version and you'll have to wait for the next iOS 18.1 update. Along with this, Apple also released iPadOS 18.0.1, making it the first iPadOS 18 version for the M4 iPad Pro, as well as macOS 15.0.1, watchOS 11.0.1, and VisionOS 2.0.1. This came in at 478.2 megabytes on my iPhone 16 Pro Max. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the build number and talk about what's new. So we'll go to settings, then we'll go to general, then about. As you can see, the build number is 22A3370. And this update includes important bug fixes and security updates and does not have a modem update, at least for the iPhone 16 models. However, this update does fix a lot of things that the iPhone 16 has wrong with it initially, so it fixes bugs with that as well as other issues people were having. The first one is the touchscreen may be temporarily unresponsive in certain circumstances. This was on the 16 and the 16 Pro models. I experienced it all the time. Maybe you'd go into music or you'd just go to scroll. Things would not respond as you would expect. So if you went to swipe or something else, they just weren't working properly. That should now be fixed with or without a screen protector installed. Also, many people were having issues with the camera, where it would freeze sometimes when recording in macro mode, so maybe sometimes, let's get out of the 120 frames per second, and maybe you go in, get close, go into macro, sometimes it would freeze when in HDR mode, and it would cause all sorts of issues, sometimes just going from macro to regular mode or zooming, I actually found it would lock up the camera completely, and I heard other people having the exact same issue. Also, there was an issue that Apple acknowledged and fixed with this update where sometimes messages would unexpectedly quit over and over. Many people are having this issue and it seemed to be related to people that were sharing an Apple Watch face from their Apple Watch to someone else on iMessage. If you opened that message, it would cause an issue. That has since been resolved in this update for all iPhones. Also, Apple fixed issues with performance, where it would have been impacted due to an issue with memory allocation on some iPhone models. Now, they should have said they resolved this. You can actually see this here, where they said performance may be impacted due to an issue with memory allocation on some iPhone models. It fixes this issue. It's not worded that well, but typically this means that they've resolved this issue. So some people were already asking me this question. Now, these updates were released, like I mentioned, as the first update for iPadOS 18 on the M4 iPad Pro. Many people had actually had the M4 iPad Pro, whether it's the 11 inch like this or the 13 inch, and Apple pulled the initial update since it was bricking some iPads. So iPadOS 18.0.1 took a couple weeks, but now you can install it on your device. It shows up and actually here's a screenshot from it. When I installed it, it was on this device specifically. So that's great to see. So even if you were able to upgrade to iPadOS 18, it will show up there as well. Now also on their website, this is a bit confusing. If you go to their publicly facing release website, it's actually not updated yet and says iOS 18.1 is out. However, it has the same build number as iPadOS 18.0.1. So this is something they'll need to update. And I just wanted to clarify as many people were confused. You can see VisionOS 2.0.1. And again, this is public facing. And if you go to download it, it's 18.0.1. So just be aware of that. It seems to be a typo there. Now, if we check again, they've actually updated this properly where it says iOS 18.0.1. So hopefully that clarifies any confusion. Along with this update, we also get security updates. If we go to Apple's security release website, scroll down, you'll see iOS 18.0.1 and iPadOS 18.0.1. We also have the other updates listed here as well that I mentioned, but if we go into this, we can see all of the different things they've fixed and it looks like there's only two. So this time around, we had media session for iPhone iPhone 16 all models and passwords for all of the iOS 18 supported devices. So for the iPhone 16, it says impact was audio messages in messages may be able to capture a few seconds of audio before the microphone indicator is activated. They fixed this with the issue was addressed with improved checks. Under passwords, the same thing, it says the impact was a user's saved passwords may be read aloud by voiceover. They fixed it where a logic issue was addressed with improved validation. So definitely something
something that they've improved for iPhone 16 and others major security issues here this time around when it comes to overall performance so far, it's only been a little bit of time, but it seems to be fairly fast and smooth. Things open as expected. If you go into maybe your app library and scroll, it seems to be 120 Hertz, nice and fast and smooth. Some people were saying that sometimes it seemed like it was slower. It seems really fast here, going into settings, go back, going into anything. The camera snapping a photo is nice and fast going into your camera control seems to work just fine. Everything is as expected. So, so far it seems to be very fast, but again, it only time will tell and we'll have to use it for a little bit. As far as the overall heat of the device, well, it is processing quite a bit, so it's a little bit warm, but it's nothing like typically updates would cause your phone to heat up like. So let's take a look at the thermals. And at the hottest point, we have about 32.6 degrees Celsius. So it doesn't feel that warm to the touch, but it appears that it's actually a little bit warmer than I would have expected. But 33 to 34 degrees Celsius. But I think Apple's doing a good job of getting rid of heat on these devices. And if we take a look at the battery life, so on this device, this is not my main device here. So I've been running iOS 18.1 betas, but if we take a look at battery health, you'll see only two cycles. But if we take a look at my 18 pro max in black here, we'll go to settings. And if we go back, we'll go into battery battery health. You'll see this one has 12 cycles at 100% and battery life has been decent. Many people report iOS 18 as having decent battery life. Some say it's not having decent battery life and that very well could have been due to maybe the issue here where performance could have been impacted due to an issue with memory allocation. So hopefully that resolves the issue for those having poor battery life, but we'll have to test it over the next few days. And of course, be sure to check the follow up on the weekend where we'll talk about that in depth. But so far today, I've had three hours and 29 minutes of screen active time, three hours and 34 minutes of screen idle time, and I'm down to seven. 73%. I'm getting phenomenal battery life lately on this device, and I would expect no less from the new one. Hopefully that performance issue resolves that. If you're wondering if you should install iOS 18.0.1, well, hundred percent, if you're on an iPhone 16, it should resolve those touch issues for you. And even if you're not, it will resolve issues with iMessage or messages, as well as issues you might've been having with performance or memory allocation. Hopefully it resolves many issues for you, but this is a minor bug fix as it typically is anytime we have a point zero point something else, we typically have some sort of fix this time last year, we actually have had three releases by October 4th. So we already would have had 17.0.3. So at least maybe Apple's taking their time in making this work right now, as far as when to expect iOS 18.1 beta six, well, I would have expected it already. We had some releases earlier this week with watch OS 11.1 beta three, and they've since pulled that as it had issues. So maybe they had some issues with it. We could see it as soon as tomorrow or possibly early next week on Monday. But either way, I would expect one soon with iOS 18.1 releasing to the public, probably within a couple weeks with Apple intelligence. So hopefully we see that very, very soon. As far as overall benchmarks, well, I did run those and they turned out quite well. 3,441 for single core, 8,232 for multi-core. Right after installing a major update compared to what I ran before, this was on iOS 18. So you'll see it's actually jumped up about 140 points or so on single core and then significantly on multi-core as well, about 700 points, 600 points or so on multi-core. So pretty impressive. And I think it's doing well. And so that's everything so far with iOS 18.0.1. If you noticed anything different with it, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And of course I'll link this wallpaper free in the description. Like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.